Lately, I have been getting a lot of questions about if the supplement Myo Inositol is helpful for treating PCOS, especially if a woman is trying to become pregnant. So I thought I would share some research on that here. So Inositol, this is a type of sugar molecule that the body and certain foods produce. And ongoing research is showing that there are potential benefits of inositols for PCOS. And PCOS is essentially a metabolic disorder that results from an imbalance of reproductive hormones. And this can make it more difficult for a woman to ovulate, which obviously is essential for conception if she's not using fertility treatments. And PCOS, it impacts millions of women. It, in addition to infertility or ovulation issues, it can also result in a lot of really uncomfortable symptoms. It's also, I, I said it relates to infertility, but it's actually one of the leading causes of infertility. And <clears throat> so studies indicate that taking inositol supplementation can support ovulation and pregnancy in women with PCOS. And I'm going to link in the description below a link to um, a study that supports this. And a primary reason that inositol might benefit women with PCOS is that it can improve insulin sensitivity, support the balance of blood glucose levels, and reduce insulin resistance. And this matters because women with PCOS often have high levels of insulin because they have reduced sensitivity to some functions of insulin. And this results in many PCOS patients being able to make insulin but not effectively use it. And these high insulin levels, they can cause the ovaries to produce excess testosterone. And what this does is it can cause an imbalance in LH or luteinizing hormone um, and FSH, follicle stimulating hormone. And this can really disrupt ovulation um, because those hormones are very important for ovulation and it can also result in high levels of androgen, androgens. And that also negatively can impact egg development and ovulation. And in one study that I'll link to below, women had lower levels of testosterone and a more ideal balance of LH and FSH after taking inositol supplements for 12 weeks. And these women also had greater sensitivity to insulin and more regular menstrual cycles. So that indicates that those inositols can help can help to fix some of the issues that PCOS causes. And while, again, you can get inositols in foods like fruits, nuts, whole grains, vegetables, women with PCOS, they have trouble converting inositol into a bioavailable form. And because of this, the, the supplement Myo Inositol, M-Y-O-I-N-O-S-I-T-O-L, Myo Inositol, um, it can provide the inositols in a bioavailable form. So you can get that pretty much at any health food store, you can probably get it on Amazon, I'm sure. And even if you don't have PCOS, myo supplementation might actually help you become pregnant. So there was a study that found that inositol improves the quality of embryos and clinical pregnancy rates in women without PT PCOS. However, the study was for women utilizing in vitro fertilization, um, but ongoing research will hopefully help to continue to uncover, you know, the positive effects of inositol on PCOS and also just ovulation and pregnancy rates in general. So I'm certainly not saying go out and take a ton of myo inositol to fix your PCOS, to get pregnant. Don't let your care provider know. This is obviously something that if you're interested in, 
I really, really highly recommend you first run it by your care provider. Um, but if they give you the go ahead, it could potentially support you in managing PCOS and in becoming pregnant. If you have any questions about this or anything else related to fertility, pregnancy, childbirth, early motherhood, let me know in the comments below.